I am surrounded by Ender 3s. And no one really seems to want them anymore. So what should I do with them? Let's talk about it on today's Film at Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Now this is actually just a sampling of the number of Ender 3 or Ender 3 style printers that I have here in my shop. I've got way too many of them. Some of these came from a print farm that I had years ago where I printed on Ender 3s. Older style like this one. And I learned so much from that print farm of how to fix these things. And that's what led to my videos where I helped other people get their Ender 3s to work. How to get prints to stick, how to get your bed to level, how to adjust things like the arm and other things to get these printers to work properly. And some even joked I was the Ender Whisperer because I knew so much about these, but it's because of that print farm and all the work that I did to get these simple printers to work. But in the last several years, 3D printing has just left these guys in the dust. I mean, we've got Core XY printers that print really fast, print really good, running Clipper instead of Marlin, and they've got features like cameras and Wi-Fi and all kinds of extras that these didn't have that we had to add to them. It was part of the fun of modifying your Ender 3s, but now you take printers out of the box and you use it. And now some of these Core XY printers are coming in at like $299. This used to be the entry-level printer you know for under 200 bucks you could get started and during covid this became the most popular printer because people were printing stuff the shields for personal protection and they learned how to 3d print they had time in their hands and i helped a lot of those people get their printers to work but this was it this was the entry level printer for under 200 bucks well now hidden back in that corner is the a1 mini which i've showed on the channel from bamboo labs and that one has the multicolor unit to it so that thing has features that these never had, including that multicolor where you could do multicolor printing. The printer itself I got for $179 on sale, but that whole unit with the multicolor was like $349. And I know I spent more than $349 on any one of these by adding different features to make this thing better. So even low-cost printing has gone a lot farther than these Ender 3s ever could. And over the years, I've given a lot of these away. I've given them to kids, I've given them to schools, to maker spaces, rep rap festivals, I gave a bunch away, but I still have a lot left. And now, nobody really wants them. If I offer it to somebody, like, no, I'm trying to get rid of mine. Because everyone's got these new printers, and they're loving it. Printing has gotten a lot easier. There's no doubt about it. So now, I like to tinker, I like to build things, and, it might be fun to just tear these down and use the pieces and make, you know, Wallace and Gromit type machines. I'll need assistance. <laughs> Ow! I did show on the channel in a few videos, I'll put a link to them up here, that I took 8-bit boards out of some of the early Ender 3s and I showed how they make great Arduino boards. They got a power supply, they got stepper motor drivers, connectors for switches and sensors. And it saves me the trouble of, you know, having to design my own circuit boards, which I do with... PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is not only a sponsor, but it's where I get my circuit boards. They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. They'll do PCB assembly. They'll actually do electronic design. And you can get 10 boards for 5 bucks plus shipping and low-cost assembly services. But also, did you know they have a shared project area and a modular store where you can actually buy pre-assembled modules or these cool circuit boards of Santa Claus or a Christmas tree. Or you can even get a kit where you solder it together. So there's a lot here if you dig deeper. So check out PCBWay.com. I highly recommend them. I use them all the time. Now I haven't given up on Ender 3 completely. As you've seen in my last couple of videos, I had the Ender 3 V3 SE on my channel and a lot of people watched. And so I still use that printer. In fact, I have a few of these printers that I still use for testing, like my e-leveler, which still sells pretty well for helping you level the bed on these older style machines. I have my profiles for these style machines for Cura. So I have machines that I test those profiles on when a new version of Cura comes out. So I'm still using my Ender 3s. I just don't need all these different Ender 3s. And I really don't want to just put them in a landfill. So as I sit here and kind of imply that Ender 3 is dead and I need to get rid of these things, if you go on Amazon, 
you'll see that these older style under three printers are still selling. It's not a huge volume, but they're still selling enough that people will keep it on Amazon. And so who's buying them and who's using them? But also if you go to Google and go Google Trends, Ender 3 is still a, one of the top search terms for 3D printing. My older Ender videos are still getting a lot of views. My bed level, my, my tips and tricks for fixing your 3D printing or assembling your, your Ender 3, still getting views and you know a decent amount. Now I'd love to see extra features so these could be better, like the cryo grip, the bed from BQ, bed material. This is fantastic. It grips really well. It helps make that first layer go down easily and work well. The machine that could benefit most from it is the Ender 3, but yet BQ doesn't offer a size to fit this original Ender 3. So it's kind of sad. You can't even buy the thing yet. Now maybe eventually they'll come out with one, but it just shows the volume isn't there that even BQ wants to invest in that size bed. Now you can take one, of course, I guess, and cut it down, and then you're into, oh, well, I'm going to modify my Ender 3. So maybe that fits with what Ender 3 is. It's a tinkerer's machine, and it'll live on because of that. Maybe it'll make a comeback someday, like the Commodore 64s and these older computers have has done. Maybe we'll see classic or you know, vintage 3D printing come back and people will want these Ender 3s and then I'll regret getting rid of all these. But I can't keep these around anymore. I'm running out of space. I've got to figure out what to do. Maybe I'll do a Joel Telling 3D printing nerd day where I say, hey, 24 hours, first come, first serve, come get them. Maybe that's what I have to do. I'm, I'm going to figure it out. But one thing's for sure, I got a lot of stuff that's just got to go. I'm kind of a pack rat and... This is just part of my mess. So I got to clean it up. I want to clean up my shop. I want to make space so I can do projects again. The whole channel is Chuck Hullabuck's electronic products or projects. And I want to mix 3D printing, some CNC, some electronics, and make some fun stuff or fix things around the house. So it's time to move on. It's time to improve the channel. And the first thing I need to do is clear my mind by clearing my office so i'll figure it out but i'd love to hear your comments do you still have an ender 3 do you still use your ender 3 did you just buy an ender 3 what are your thoughts on the ender 3 let me know in the comments below if you like what i'm doing here maybe check out some of the videos popping up if you want to help support the channel patreon is one way or a membership at thangs.com and if nothing else click on the logo and subscribe i'll see you next time right here at chuck hellebuck's electronic products and film it Friday.